Can you talk about the Andersons, Gene and Ole Anderson? Yeah, so but when I first went in there and George Scott brought me in, he just kept, because my dad had that horrible plane crash and he was the top banana there. And him and Rick were tag team and everything. So Rick, Rick became the top banana after my dad went down. So I'm in Florida, and I, you know, Florida is a beautiful place to be in. And I was a young kid and I didn't know if I was, wanted to be all the way on top. I was enjoying learning. And Eddie Graham, would, he would get back with you and he'd, he'd go through, he'd, he'd, he'd program the whole match, you know, so you do this and do that. And it was good just learning how to put a match together. And so I wasn't ready, I really wasn't ready to leave. And, George Scott kept calling, you gotta come up, you gotta come up, you gotta come up. So finally I did this thing where uh, I broke boards with my elbow and we sent that up there. And they played it on Mid-Atlantic TV. And then finally I went in and I didn't go in to stay, I just went in to come in and work Greensboro Coliseum, that was a big show. and I wrestled jo uh, Johnny Weaver. Johnny Weaver was a real mainstay and they loved him there. And I I jumped off the top rope and supposedly broke his, his neck and they drug him out. Then about six weeks later, they brought me, it took their time getting me over. Then they brought me in and I did something else. And then, and then finally I came in for real and right away they tagged me up with Rick. And that was an experience. Rick was wild. I mean, he was wild and crazy, but in a good way. Us as being, a, right away they, they gave us the world tag team belts. And we had, we got those belts like three different times, but it wasn't easy getting those belts because the Andersons, we had to wrestle the Andersons and it was almost like an hour every night. And those Andersons were tough, son of a, Gene was tough. Of course, everybody knows how tough Ole was. And they would grind us back and forth. And I'm still, I'm still green. And Rick, Rick's not as green as I was because he's been on top more than I. And we grind those matches out. And eventually, you know, every match we have with those Andersons, they would go almost the time limit. They'd be 45, 50 minute long. So eventually we got the belts from them. Thank God. But they didn't want to make it easy, did they? See oh, they didn't. So then they were after us, you know, you know chopping at the bit. And I, we ended up dropping the belts to them again. Then we got them back again. So me and Rick had those, those belts three different times. And that was the first dream team. You know, not me and just Beefcake. That, Flair and Valentine was a was a great tag team, really good. Rick was a great partner, a great friend. 